To load the module, we use the require function. This is one of the functions in Node. We don't have this in browsers. This function takes one argument, and that's the name or path of the target module we want to load. So here we want to load the logger module. Now we can see both the app module and logger module are in the same folder. So we use period slash to indicate the current folder. And then we add the name of our module that is logger.js. Or we can make it shorter and just use logger because Node assumes this is a JavaScript file and it automatically adds the JS extension. Now, if this logger was in a subfolder, we could add that subfolder here. Or if it was in the parent folder, we could use dot dot slash. So here we're using the relative path to the target module. In this case, that module is in the same folder. Now, this require function returns the object that is exported from this target module. So this exports object here. This is what we get when we call the require function. Let me show you. So I'm going to declare a variable, call it logger, the name of the module, and set it to the return value of the require function. Now let's log this logger and see what we get. So node app.js, look, we get an object. This object has a single method called log. You can see that's a function. So we can call this function or this method in app.js. So back here, we call logger dot, and look here we have IntelliSense in VS Code. So we call log and pass a message. Now, back in terminal, let's run this app and we get message on the console. So this is how we work with modules in Node. When we define a module, we export one or more members. And then to load the module, we use the require function. Now, in the recent versions of JavaScript, we have the ability to define constants. So as a best practice, when loading a module using the require function, it's better to store the result in a constant like this. The reason for this is because we don't want to accidentally overwrite the value of logger like this here. If we set this to one, then when we call the log method, we're going to get an exception. Let me show you. So one more time, look, we got logger.log is not a function. Now, in contrast, if we define this as a constant, now back in the terminal, let's run this program one more time. Look, we got a different kind of error, assignment to constant variable. Now, there are tools out there that check our JavaScript code for errors like that. So by using these constructs properly, we can prevent these errors from happening at runtime. So one of these popular tools is JS Hint. If you have never used it before, don't worry. I'm just going to show you a quick demo. So if you run JS Hint app.js, we get this error, attempting to overwrite logger, which is a constant. So with tools like JS Hint, we can scan all our JavaScript code for errors like that. So that's the benefit of using a constant as opposed to a variable here. If we accidentally reset this object, then we're going to get an error at compile time instead of at runtime. Okay. And one last thing before we finish this lecture. Sometimes instead of exporting an object from a module, you may want to export only a single function. For example, here in our logger module, we don't necessarily need an object because we have a single method. An object would be useful if we had multiple methods or properties here. But in this case, instead of exporting an object, we can export a single function. So we can reset this exports to the log function. So initially it was an empty object, but we reset it to just a function. With that, back in app.js, so logger is no longer an object. It's a function that we can call directly like this. So logger, we call it and give it an argument. Now a better name for this function is log. 
So I'm going to press F2 to rename this log like this. Now, back in terminal, let's run node app.js and we get the same result. So in your modules, you can export a single function or an object. Hi guys, it's Mosh here. Thank you for watching my Node tutorial. I just wanted to let you know that this video you've been watching is part of my complete Node course where you will learn everything about Node from the basic to the advanced topics. If you're serious about learning Node, I highly recommend you to enroll in my Node course because this is much faster than jumping from one tutorial to another. It saves you time. Plus, you're going to get a lot of exercises that will prepare you for the real world. And also, at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate of completion that you can provide to your current or future employer. So if you want to enroll, click on the link in the video description. I hope to see you in the course.